All right. So, anyways, this video is primarily going to be about San Pedro cactuses again. One of my favorites. Um, got these two here that I just recently moved. I've got two more here that I need to transplant. That broke off some other bigger ones that I had. These finally are Peruvian torch. I um, kind of acquired these in um, actually in Austin, Texas. Um, they were cuttings that I found uh, that obviously somebody didn't care about, and my camera would focus. That'd be great. But anyways, uh, these are really nice. Uh, they're a little skinny right now. They're doing a skinny growth thing. We've been having really weird weather here where I live in Texas, and unfortunately. It was really freaking hot. There's another one of my San Pedro's down there. There's another one by the Buddha tree, Buddha hand tree. Uh, I got my rosemary and some Texas red sage. More Texas red sage. Bunch of chili. This is kind of what's been going on this year. It hasn't been as productive as other years, but there's a lot of yerba buena. Beautiful stuff. Some other cactuses growing over here. This big guy, beautiful thing. Lots of chilies. My tobacco plants are growing. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh my God, isn't that gorgeous? I've got uh, some sage and there's basil leaf. Uh, is that right? What did, what did I call it? Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of chili, a lot of yerba buena again. That's a dead citronella plant that didn't make it. I don't know what happened. Uh, basil, but that's dying. My catnip got eaten by the ducks. More of my tobacco, which nobody bothers. Banana trees. Uh, more chilies, of course. Grapefruit tree, which I haven't decided what to do with yet. A bunch of aloe vera, which I haven't decided what to do with yet. And this is the stuff I have on the south side of my house. There's a bunch of more tobacco. There's some morning glories, of course. I always grow those. Pond over here, rose bushes, more chili, some uh, other type of sage, I believe, some Texas sage again. And let me cut this in the back here on my deck. Got a whole assortment here, a bunch of San Pedros again. Some other types of cacti here that I like too. More San Pedro, lots of babies coming in. San Pedro. When we look around here, I've got more San Pedro. I've got a bunch of San Pedro that I'm going to be transplanting soon. Some of these are really, really, really small pieces. And the reason that is, is because they were growing as they were drying out. So actually today I just cut these in order to form, well, new San Pedros. So we'll be working on that. It's going to be a big project. More San Pedros. My greenhouse over here, a little bearded lizard. And there's more San Pedro. <laughs> Some nice specimens in here. Look at this, all these babies have a lot of growth going on. That's a fat boy. That was a beautiful one until it finally broke. Just couldn't handle the weight. And there's Hawaiian baby wood rose, of course. And there's some morning glory mixed in with it. Tobacco, I've got tobacco coming out of my ears. Um, lots and lots of tobacco. And of course, I'm trying to get rid of this, sell it, something. I may go back to farmer's market. I don't know yet. All that's tobacco, banana tree right there, tobacco. Uh, there's a San Pedro in there, a beautiful specimen growing inside that pot right there that's got the um, morning glory growing with it and Hawaiian baby wood rose wrapped around it as well. Very beautiful. Cory Fanta's doing great. Look how fat that boy is. Looking good. We'll take a look over here at the final little greenhouse. Again, another San Pedro. <laughs> That's a beauty. It's like a little saguaro. It's got little arms all over it. That's an old one. I've had that for years. Actually, I've been, if anybody cares, I've been raising or growing, whatever the term is, San Pedro's for about 10 years now. So I've gotten pretty good with them. Uh, century plants, aloe veras, and the more cacti. This is my little cactus garden that I made. I really like this. It came out really cool. It's got some, looks like oleander growing in it with it. But it's really beautiful. More tobacco. Tobacco looks kind of miserable because those pots are too small. I've got so much transplanting to do, I don't even want to think about it. And I've got more over here, more, more aloe vera, more San Pedro. Uh, excuse me, not San Pedro, but uh, more... Um, 
uh, other cacti that I like. If we keep going, well, guess what? <laughs> it's a whole nother, whole nother stash. Uh, this one just fell over. I need to fix that too. Well, when you have animals at your house, as many of you probably know, animals are not the best thing for uh, plants in general. So we always have issues here with uh, things being knocked over. That's another San Pedro, very nice. Another San Pedro. More of these other cacti that I like. More San Pedro. More baby San Pedros. More San Pedro. That's a beautiful one right there too. Look at that guy. He's got a pecan tree growing with him. I just haven't bothered to clean it out. Let the pecan tree grow. <laughs> Anyways, so right now, this year, 2016, uh, has not been the best year I've ever had with growing plants and my um, luck has not been that great. I had tomatoes growing earlier. I had all sorts of other things growing. And we've lost a lot of stuff this year. The heat was really bad. I will make a follow-up video to this one. I actually do the transplanting of all of these um, <clears throat> San Pedros, which I really need to do something about because, well, it's a multitude, isn't it? I've got four pots ready. I've got another pot on the other side of the house that's going to be used for probably at least two of these cuttings. Um, at least two because it's a big pot and it had that citronella plant in it that I talked about. You should cut it right there. Yeah, I might need to cut that too and make another one out of it because it's too curvy. It's going to grow all weird. You're right. But I think the rest of these specimens look pretty good. Like those are all ready to go. Those little guys are going to be interesting. I don't think I've ever had San Pedro's that small before. So, anyway, so when I get all this started again, I will boot up another video. All right, YouTube, y'all take care. And send me some comments. If anybody's got any questions about anything, or if anybody's interested in buying anything, <laughs> send me an email. All right, y'all take care. Have a great day. Subscribe, comment, etc. Bye.